Welcome back, everybody. A higher threat today for potential tropical development in the Gulf. I'm watching everything very closely for you where it may turn strong and where it may actually be a benefit to some of us. Let's get right to the conversation right now. I know you want to know exactly what's going to happen. What's been in place for the past week, two weeks, three weeks, for a while now, it's been this big dome of high pressure. This ridge has led to extreme temperatures in the nation. And what it's done is basically locked in. So drought conditions have gotten worse. Extreme temperatures have continued to just plague areas like Texas, Oklahoma. As far east as the Carolinas and Florida have just been so, so hot the past month. You need something to break up the pattern. And in this case, it usually ends up being tropical activity when it's in August or September. It's normal to have this type of activity happen. What's happening later this weekend is we have an approaching hurricane, likely a strong Category 2 hurricane, Franklin, off the East Coast. Thankfully, a cold front is coming in at the very same time, which will steer Franklin away from the United States. You see how it gets close to the Outer Banks and then steers away. But at the same time, that same cold front that's draped right in here is going to scoop up whatever is developing in the Gulf of Mexico and bring it toward the United States. That's the way the wind flows, and it will bring a threat up from the Gulf into Florida and into Georgia and the Carolinas. Now, how strong that is is still yet to be determined. If it's somewhat moderate to weak, this would be a welcome thing to cut down the heat, to bring some much needed rainfall to Georgia and the Carolinas that have gone now 12 days without a single drop of rain. We could use a good soaking to help out because we know September is extremely dry for our area, usually averaging one of our lowest rainfall totals totals of the year in September. Now, we do see the signs of that big heat dome at least dropping down, so we shouldn't be as hot moving forward. And that's good news because as I look at the temperature anomalies, how far above or below we are, it has been extreme. Temperatures running 15, 20 degrees above normal with no rain in sight in the nation's midsection. That's been a problem. But look at how you start to see more blues showing up next week. One thing's for sure, this is is going to jostle up the weather pattern and bring in better weather to us, not as hot. And speaking of hot, we've got some games, Carolina Panthers preseason game, lots of Friday night football games that are going to be impacted by the intense heat. Latest models are showing close to 100 degrees for a temperature, feeling hotter than that when you factor in the humidity. So it's a good thing this pattern's breaking up, but we're locked in with that heat through the weekend. The National Hurricane Center upped the probability of a tropical system now to the medium risk. You now got a 50-50 shot that this is going to develop. We are watching this activity deeper in the Atlantic, but Franklin eastbounds not going to be a threat to the United States. I've been warning you of this area. For reference, there's Florida, there's the Gulf, here's the Caribbean. We've been watching this area. It's like having jet fuel sitting right there. All you need is a match, and boom, you can get a big tropical system in quickly, and that's right where we have a potential system developing. I've been concerned about that area for a while, so let's dive right into what the models are showing. It's got a developing Franklin turning into a strong Cat 2 right here off the coast of the Carolinas. It threads the needle between the Outer Banks and Bermuda as it moves north. And then you've also got a tropical something developing here in the Gulf next Tuesday. So we're talking four, five, six days away from this, not too long from now. And it would move toward Florida very quickly, scooped up by that same front that's steering Franklin out to sea and could bring some welcomed rain to some. We just don't want the flooding or the wind that usually comes with this. By Wednesday, this is moving over Florida and then moving back out to sea. Honestly, it's going to come down to this front. Where's this front set up across the East Coast? Did it stall out over the mountains? Did it stall out farther south as to who's going to get the most rain with this and the wind? But it does look like there's an increasing threat of a tropical something developing in the Gulf and impacting the United States. The GFS model processing as we speak, let's back this up one run and show you what the last GFS run showed. It shows something just not as strong as the European. It's got Franklin moving out and just some uh, basically elongated 
rain, moisture, if you will, moving along that front, basically enhancing rain chances, but not developing into anything tropical. The GFS is not as favored right now as the European model. As we look at the different runs of the European, there's 51 different runs of them. You're gonna see 51 different low pressure ideas. They're all in agreement here with Franklin. Good to see that, to know that that's gonna stay out to sea. But look at the Gulf. You see several different variations. Most of them run from 1,000 millibars up, so that tells me we're likely looking at a tropical storm, not looking at a strong hurricane. However, some individual runs of this European have shown deepening lows and stronger lows. Notice how they all ride right along that uh, cold front, which could settle eventually into the Western Carolinas, which would bring locally uh, from Greenville, Asheville, Charlotte, Atlanta, some heavy rain. But if that front's farther south, it would mainly be south. You see a great number of those move toward Florida as another ridge builds in for Labor Day weekend. So what does that look like as far as uh, you know the, the strongest of the lows? Here's what we call the, the mean wise minimum. It's the minimum low pressure that this model is showing out of the different 51 different runs. I guess the ceiling, if you will, from the European model is a 969 millibar low. That would be a strong hurricane. But as you notice, that was probably 10% of the different 51 runs I showed you. So could this become a strong hurricane? Yes, that's a key takeaway I take from that. But I'd show you nine out of 10 of those models showed it being a tropical storm or a weaker hurricane. So uh, we can handle that. We just don't want a very strong one. Okay, so that's the way that's shaping up right there. This is a way I like to look at it, an average of all of those computer models. Uh, and where does it go from there? Well, it shows a good 30, 40% chance of some kind of tropical depression forming here in the Gulf and moving across Florida and then south of the Western Carolinas because of that front. Let me show you another way of putting that. This would be tropical storm probabilities. You're gonna see less bright colors here for that Gulf activity because there's less of a chance of it becoming a tropical storm. That's more like a 20 to 30% chance of a tropical storm. And if I were to put the hurricane probabilities on, that's gonna be even lower, if not zero. You see great probabilities that uh, Franklin becomes one, but you see there, there's not really much consensus in the models to show that we're going to have a a strong hurricane out of that. At least the chances are lower. There's more of a chance of it being a tropical storm versus a hurricane in our models right now. One thing's for sure, it looks to really jostle up the weather pattern. Next week stands a much better chance at not only being uh, cooler than average, but wetter than average. Here is the temperature expectation for Friday going into Labor Day weekend. We could be some 10 to 12 degrees below normal, and Labor Day weekend is notorious for being so hot across the Carolinas. We could see temperatures some 10 to 15 degrees below normal, and that may be because of some wet weather, but it also could just be because the weather pattern has finally been broken up, and we're not stuck in that big heat dome. I'll have much more on Franklin, the path, and this possible developing system in the Caribbean and Gulf tonight on WYFF News 4, and I'll have it right here on this channel. And again, if you're just now tuning into my channel, my commitment to you is to be transparent in my forecasting. I'll tell you when it's time to worry. I've got family that live in Florida. I've got family that live in Georgia. And of course, I'm broadcasting from the Carolinas. So uh, we have deep interest in what's happening right now in the tropics all the way through hurricane season. And this is the channel for that. I will keep you posted around the clock and let you know as threats come to light.